All right, here goes test number two with the Traxxas differential running 8.4 volts. You guys can see that. Same battery we used the other day. And same timer. This time I put um, tape though on the bucket there start and stop um, points. So here we go. So 26 seconds. So now I will do the other differential. So I decided I might as well do another test. This is the same Traxxas differential one and the same battery is still in there. It dropped to 8.3 from the first test. Um, I think I'll do three, sorry about that. I think I'll do three tests for each blower. Alright, and same timer, so here we go. seven seconds so I'll do one more with the same battery all right here goes test number three with the tracks differential still voltage is at 8.2 same battery still using and here we go. That one actually is 25. All right, so now I will switch out to the new transmission. Also, just for reference, while I was unplugging the Traxxas Diff 1, its voltage is at 8.1 when the three tests are all done. All right, here is the test with the new Delrin machined transmission running on a fully charged 7.2 LiPo, battery voltage of 8.4, test one of three. And here we go. seconds. Now we'll do test number two. All right here is test number two with the Delrin printed gearbox. Battery voltage 8.3 using the same battery from the last test. And here we go. Wait. 
two seconds. So the last test coming up. All right, here goes the final test with the uh, CNC Delrin gears. Battery voltage is 8.2. Here we go. That one was twenty three. And battery voltage is reading 8.0, or just changed to 8.1. All right. Well, that was um, three tests for each. The new upgrade does seem to be at least somewhat faster by a couple seconds. Um, yeah, I'll add more to the video once I clean up and get back in the shop. Alright, so I'm back in the shop after the water test. And the kind of wrap up um, that I want to do is basically from the times on the test, it seems like the new transmission is at least somewhat better. So I'm going to start selling the upgrade kits um, even before snow hits. And I'm going to kind of sell it as an experimental thing. Um, from everything I've seen in the video testing and stuff, you know, I, I'm pretty confident it's going to work in the snow, but, I mean, you can watch what tests I did and, and be the judge of that for yourself, or you can just wait until we get snow and then, um, you know, wait for my next videos or something before you purchase it. But along with that, I'm also going to be selling those, those upgraded pinions that I showed you earlier in the video. And, um, yeah, I, th I think I'll be selling the uh, experimental impellers, too. Kind of, like, by, you know, at your own risk before it's winter. But we'll see what happens. And also, all this stuff will be f included free in an STL file update. It'll be kind of put in its own experimental folder. But none of these are, like, upgrades that you're going to have to pay for if you're printing your own. Only if you're buying the physical stuff from me, you know. And, um, yeah, I think that about covers it all. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below and stuff. And, um, within the next few days, I'll list these online for sale. So, or I forgot one more thing I wanted to mention. Um, tomorrow, or within the next day or two, I'm going to be making another video of just one blower being tested. Um, these are 3D printed gears instead of the um, Delrin CNC machined ones. So I will make a video seeing if these can even hold up. The only concerning thing is that this spur gear, um, since it has to fit on that hex shape, there's just not much material there. But you never know, it, it might be able to hold up. It kind of has that back edge to reinforce it. And it's such a low gear ratio that I don't think it'll be under all that much stress. But yeah, if this works out, then I will be selling the Delrin printed up or the Delrin CNC upgrade, like as a separate package. Otherwise, you could print your own of these if it works out. But yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.